so this is the Cartoon Network licensing booth at the Global Licensing Fair in Hong Kong, which is taking place at the same time as the Hong Kong Toys and Games Fair. And I stopped by here to get some pictures of the Denton Ben 10 and Generator Rex uh, and other items that uh, I know the fans want to see. So let's take a look at the, some of the displays and graphics they put up. Here's a great graphic of uh, Ben 10, the 10 age Ben Tennyson. And right here on, on the bottom of one of the beams, they have a graphic of some of the Ben 10 characters, including Forearms and Echo Echo. Uh, and then, oh, I see Ultimate uh, Humongous War. And here's another of the Ben Tennyson graphics, and this is the older uh, Ultimate Alien Ben. And, uh, and then here's the Generator X graphic. And it looks pretty nice. It's like uh, 12, 14 feet tall. Here, and here's some Ben 10 graphics, again, from the Cartoon Network licensing booth. Ben and four arms and good old humongous horror. I've seen that pose before. And there's Gwen. And Kevin gets a picture. Swing it into action. And the last, the last of the Benton graphics with Gwen. There's Gwen. Someone somewhere has produced Ben 10 branded rollerblades because they're on display here. They're under lock and key, or else I would kite them. And then here's some Ben 10 shoes, and it looks like kind of like. Uh, uh, upgrades kind of graphics on the on the which is you know it's pretty nice and then uh, there's a uh, cannonball yep. and then somebody's got a uh, Ben 10 cup and there's Ben 10 on the inside of the cup and then a Ben 10 bowl that's pretty cool and now here's a look at some of the Ben 10 products that you can find in Asia uh, I've seen somebody, I haven't seen all these, like this, this looks like uh, a Chinese coin uh, envelope designed to be used for uh, coin or, mo or money gifts that are given out uh, in New Year's in, in China and Hong Kong. And then here is the, uh, the Mark 10, we've seen this in the U.S. market. But uh, now this Ultimatrix though, it kind of looks like the one we've seen in the U.S. except notice it's metallic, has a metallic finish. I'm going to see if I can find one of these in Hong Kong. I don't know. That's something uh, we've not seen in the U.S. Okay, and here's some more of the Ben 10 products for Asia market. Now, here's the Legos uh, Big Chill. Yeah, okay, I've seen that. What is this? It looks like kind of an Omnitrix with Ben on top. How do you get Ben on top of the Omnitrix? I don't know. And then here's model cars of the RV and and then the and then Kevin's cruiser. I've never seen these. I'm gonna look for these in Hong Kong. I don't know if I can still get them. They might be old. And then here's kind of a uh, looks like an Ultra Matrix hand grenade. <laughs> I don't know. It's a keychain, key fob thing. And then here's some uh, blind box minifigures. You know they call these blind box because you don't get to see what's inside. You collect them, you, you buy it, you don't know what it is, and then you open it up and you find out it's something that it's rare or not. And then here's some magazines. Ben 10 Alien Force magazines. I'm gonna look for these. I've not seen these ever in, in the whole world. This one says it has 3D glasses inside. And then here's the, uh, the, the DVDs, of course, Cartoon Network. And uh, we, uh, I'm pretty sure we've got the same set in the U.S. And here's a Ben 10 alarm clock. Man, everybody in Hong Kong is so lucky to get all this cool stuff. And Ben 10 shades, the sunglasses. I guess you can't, I can't see the sides. I, oh, here's some different ones. Okay, this is a little better because it has the graphics on it. I mean, what's the use of a Ben 10 sunglass if you can't get a picture of Ben? And for spying, a Benton uh, uh, for spying, uh, 
binoculars, Ben 10 binoculars. And then it looks like a Ben 10 notebook in the back there. And a watch of some kind or disc shooter for Ben 10. And then Ben, here, Ben gets a life jacket. Always wear a life jacket when you're boating or even in a bathtub if you're not a good swimmer. Wear your Ben 10 life jacket and what's on the back? Four arms. He could probably swim pretty fast if he tried. And then a Ben 10, uh, looks like uh, this is uh, pajamas. Yeah, Ben 10 Ultimate Alien pajamas. And it has the Ultimatrix on the arm. And then we've got another Ben 10 little t we've got another Ben 10 t-shirt here with uh, this is a, this is the ultimate alien version with ultimate cannibal and ultimate Takwakwakwako. And then wow, that, that's pretty cool. Look at that, that's a, that's a Ben 10 sweatshirt. It's a hoodie, see? It's got a hood. And there's Bintin's eyes <laughs> and Ultimate Alien, and on the back is nothing. Okay, you can, maybe you put a sticker there. And here's uh, another cool hoodie. Yeah, with Bintin, the Ultimate Alien, and uh, it's always that water hazard. Yeah, okay. So I'm glad I remembered an Armo Drillo. Armo Drillo. Oh, and there's another ultimate alien. God, these, ki these, kids in, these kids in Hong Kong get the cool stuff. Ultimate alien t-shirt with uh, ultimate uh, swamp fire and a nice kind of a line drawing graphic of Ben. And then uh, another shirt, ultimate alien, ultimate spider monkey, Ultra Humongous Horn Wrath. And then, they're really nice to me here. They're not running me off. Oh, wow. Simulated leather. It's not real leather, but it's Ben Tin's jacket with the Ben Tin graphic, of course. Just like on the show. Exactly like on the show. This is, it feels very leathery, but it's a, it's a vinyl. But that's pretty nice. Look at that. Wow. And then finally, we've got, oh yeah, Ben 10 Ultimate Alien. Can you see it? Yeah. That's great. And here's some more, here's some more Ben 10 stuff that you can get in Asia. It looks like in the back, it says Ben 10 Accessory Pack. And I'm not really sure what it is. Except, oh, accessories for your Wii. So I'm talking about the Wii console game. Don't be saying bad things. For Nintendo Wii. So I guess those are like covers for the controller. Okay, and then the stuff you're probably looking at first. There's a gold water hazard, probably limited edition. And it looks like a gold uh, Big Chill. You know, I've not seen those in the US. Okay. Uh, and here we have Ben Tennyson licensed gummy strips. So uh, I guess you can eat those, whatever's inside them. And then a sour belt with Ben 10, there it is. Sour belts with Ben 10 on it, two kinds. And uh, some uh, Ben 10 wristwatches. And uh, PlayStation 2 game. And the mini figures. And then this. Uh, Superhero Storybook Collection. Was that ever available in the US? Y'all let me know. I've not seen it, but I don't I don't go to all the stories. Four awesome alien storybooks. 